Grizzly Mining, the parent company of Jim Canton, was incorporated in August 1997 and started operations in 1999. What started as a very small mine grew through started acquisitions to become the second largest gemstone mine in Zambia. Zambia's emeralds produced by Jim Canton are ranked third in the world after Colombia and Brazil, respectively. The growth of the mine is a direct result of support from the Zambian government, who recognize that the mine plays a vital role in the development of the economy and the Zambian people. Apart from being an economically viable mining operation in Zambia, Jem Canton places a very high focus on improving the lives of the community within which it operates. The company does this by investing heavily in corporate social responsibility efforts. Education is a key priority in the country, as the literacy levels have reduced in recent times due to lack of accessibility of schools in far-flung areas. One of these areas is Lufonyama district, where one of Jem Canton mining fields is located. The organization has built schools in the area to provide the education levels of the residents in the area. The first school is called Chantete School, which was handed over to the government in 2005 and the second school is called Gem Canton Community School, which enrolls over 300 students to date and maintains a 100% grade seven pass rate. Apart from just constructing the school, Gem Canton provides the school with all the necessities for the students to be able to have a stress-free education. Before construction of these schools, students had to walk 48 kilometers to the nearest school in the area. The organization is currently in the process of constructing a new state-of-the-art secondary school to support children who pass their grade 7 exams to gain them close access to a secondary school. Jem Canton also pays the teachers' school fees at this school. In conjunction with ESMAS and World Bank, Jem Canton contributed a piece of land in order to build a rural clinic to attend to the members of the community who had no health care in the area. The hospital is manned by a qualified medical doctor who is sponsored by Jem Canton, as well as nurses to assist. Jem Canton also provides an ambulance service to pregnant women in the area who previously had to travel 54 kilometers to give birth at the nearest hospital in Kalulushi. This has contributed to the saving of lives of women in the area. Jem Canton's CSR efforts are not limited to Lufuanyama area only. The organization also supports the Kayula Cancer Foundation, which provides support to children battling cancer. Furthermore, Jem Canton also provided a borehole to the Kitwe Central Hospital and also installed the tanks to ensure that the hospital had sufficient water supply. Over the years, Lufuanyama District has remained largely underdeveloped and has suffered from poor and dilapidated infrastructure. Foremost of this is the poor road network in the area that moved from bad to worse, following heavy rains which damaged the old bridge across the Kafubu River, leaving the area impassable. As the river overflowed, many lives were lost as they tried to brave the flood to cross to the other side. Jem Canton intervened by constructing the Mindex Bridge across the Kafubu River. The bridge, which connects Chief Lumpumu's kingdom to Chief Nkana's kingdom, is still standing to this day without overflowing and has enriched the lives of those in the area. Furthermore, Jem Canton has continued to undertake annual maintenance of the road that leads to the mining site as well as other community areas. Jem Canton has also provided electricity in the Lufonyama area, which lacked electricity before and threatened the economic viability of the area. The introduction of electricity by Jem Canton has greatly benefited the area as other companies have tapped electricity from the original lines that were invested by Jem Canton when mining operations began. In 2013, Jem Canton was awarded as the best environmentally friendly company in Zambia as a result of the mining practices that the company has undertaken to protect the environment in which they mine. Some of these principles include backfilling of the mining site, a process by which soil is poured back into the ground to fill up the holes left by way of open pit mining. Jem Canton also revegetates the dump site once the site has been closed. Waste dumping requires that some trees be cut down to allow adequate space which leaves the land bare. The land left bare for too long 
means that it is left infertile. Therefore, the process of revegetation ensures that plant life is maintained in the region and prevents topsoil loss as a result of soil erosion. The organization also contributes to the Environmental Protection Fund, EPF, which supports sustainable land use and is also part of Zambia Extractive Industry Transparent Initiative, ZEITI, which audits the use of land by commercial mines in the country. Companies that are part of ZEITI are graded by the lowest grade C to the highest grade A. Gem Canton has since joining the initiative been graduated to grade A, which shows their efforts to maintaining a sustainable environment. Gem Canton is the sole sponsor of Afri Sport Football Club, which has produced renowned Zambian footballers such as Jacob Mulenga, Rainford Kalaba and Sopila Sunzu who are leading players in the Zambia national team. As part of the sponsorship, Gem Canton provides the team with all the necessary equipment to enable them to compete favorably and to excel at the sport. Gem Canton has also been instrumental in the development of the community in Lufanyama. The company provides jobs for 80% of the population in the area and helps people put food on the table for their families. Also, the organization has brought in specialized labor to polish and facet the gemstones, a process which used to be done abroad. This has contributed to the economic development of the country. Gem Canton also auctions the gemstones produced on the local market, whereas before, the auctions would be done abroad. Auctioning the stones in Zambia also leads to increased tourism as most people who attend bring disposable income which they leave in the country. Apart from this, Jim Canton donated vehicles to the Zambia police in Kitwe to ensure that they were able to cover the district, which covers a great distance. Furthermore, Jim Canton donated vehicles to the chiefs in the Lufonyama area 